Alright, Mako Fun and everyone, and welcome back to another Halloween special, or first impression uh, special. And um, it is uh, October, or October 30th. Well, technically it is October 30th now, just past midnight. Um, and it's my first time playing this one, and I have to give a shout out to Nolan for suggesting that I, that I play this game for Halloween. Even though, of course, I'm not going to be able to finish it, uh, you know, before Halloween. At the very least, I wanted to give it a try. Uh, I might try to squeeze in another episode of this, but I would also like to give that Don't Scream game another try. So maybe I might have uh, a double Let's Play of those two. Uh, I saw that uh, when I was kind of, uh, you know, watching it back briefly to see if I missed anything. Um, and I noticed that down in the lower, around left, left middle corner, uh, there were options like, th like this, you know, but it was like video and sound. Uh, the sound, I, did I change this? I think it was like graphics was actually one of the options. So I wonder if I could have actually made the graphics look better. Uh, so I'd like to go back to that one and, you know, see if there was anything to change and um, I, I can't wait to get my new chair I, I still have to uh, uh, get the money for it but eventually you know that's going to be the next thing I get um, this chair I'm sitting on right now I have I think I mentioned this before but I have some pillows I have to sit or I have to put you know on my chair on top of the, the um, uh, what do you call that, the, uh, the cushion, the seat cushion. So even how it is now, I think I could still, I would still like to raise it by at least another half an inch or maybe even an inch, but like half an inch to an inch, I think, uh, to get my head higher, I think is, would be good. Uh, but anyways, let's give this a try. So a shout out to Nolan. Thank you for suggesting this one. And uh, um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do it. I think I have the options the way I like it. I think the sound is is okay, so you could still hear me. And of course, with all of my let's plays, you know, you might have to turn the volume up uh, by quite a bit. But as I said, I have the microphone directly in front of me now. So, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I am looking at the microphone right now. Just in front of my keyboard, like point blank to it, like touching it almost. Um, I suppose we can try hard. Let us try hard. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. Uh, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Mount, Mount Massive Asylum, that's the name of it, huh? It's a kind of weird name. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. Yeah. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only cho choices are run, hide, or die. What the hell? Oh, okay. I will say that um, uh, my friend um, uh, Roger, uh, whom I, I've lost contact with him, but still, uh, he has a channel, I think it was called Dawnstar Gameplay, and he actually, long time ago now, many, many years now, uh, played this game and, and completed it. But it's been years since I've seen it, so I don't re really remember much. I do know that you are not a fighter. You don't fight, you don't have any guns. It's very much like uh, Alien Isolation, where you're just trying to elude the enemy, and, you know, Alien Isolation, the Xenomorph, uh, here is, I guess, like whatever the enemies are, you have to hide from them, and 
uh, maybe lock the door behind you or something like that and just try to use uh, stealth and subterfuge to uh, you know get past them uh, okay so let's try this graphics were really really good and I saw the year of this game and it was 2013 I did buy this game because it's on sale also for only 2.99 I believe it was 2.99 or was it 4.99 um, I think it was 2.99 so I got it so what a deal so thank you again Nolan for the suggestion of this game The last game I played, that other one, the Don't Scream, it might look kind of awkward like I'm looking down, but that's also because I was purposely trying to get close to the screen like that and bending over a bit to the microphone so it can catch my, you know, my whispering, what I'm saying. But here, yeah, I don't have to be in such a position, but still. So hopefully, you know, it's, my face is in frame a bit better. Um, Okay, but still, as I said, I have to get that new uh, stool. It it's called like a drafting office chair, so I could raise it by a little bit more than this. And I, I think what would be good um, would be to get a, a mat, like an office chair mat, either a tempered glass one or like a hard plastic, so I can just roll better and I can roll closer without having to get up and try to roll you know, closer to it, but like I said, it, it's a little weird with this chair, and um, the office chair uh, stool has a a circular uh, feet rest, you know, like how the stools have that, so it would have been, it's better if I was able to do that at this height uh, and, and be closer to the desk, and right now I have to use this foot rest so it's it's just kind of weird because my my knees are going a little bit above the desk so it's hitting the edge of the, the desk so I can't quite go in you know close enough but anyways you don't know me oh let's see okay ten. illegal activity at Murkoff psychiatric systems uh-huh 2013 the year when this game was made um, you don't know me you have to make this quick they might be monitoring I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facility in Mount Mass Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Ser uh, terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in a mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Okay, so I want to try to expose this kind of weird experimental um, methods that these people are, are using. Okay. I think, you know, very much like uh, Don't Scream, uh, it's like I'm holding a camcorder the whole time. It will be in the perspective of a camcorder, something like that, which that, that was a nice touch, something I liked in that Don't Scream. So I mean, I, I, I really did enjoy that game and, you know, kind of, what's these graphics look, holy god, if this is... But I was going to say with that don't scream, I could see many different ways, you know, that, uh, like, it can go, the adventures and, and the encounters. Um, I mean, who knows if maybe there are uh, any more buildings that you can go into, and you can go to, like, the farm. I never found that mini-mart, so it, it could really play out differently, and uh, that was only early access. But anyways, let's 
back to this. This is 2013. Is there even higher graphics than this? I'd be shocked if there was. Yeah, this is like very high. I mean, I didn't know if it could go up to ultra, but this is amazing and truly ahead of its time. I cannot believe this is 2013. And of course, no mods or anything. There's a camera. Can I walk? Only run. Oh. oh, wow. So I don't to keep looking through the camera okay oh it's, I like this I like how I can see my feet yeah so this is just my walking speed to open a door press left mouse button to open a door slowly hold down left oh okay Yeah, you could raise your camcorder, yeah. Event recorded, adding note to your notebook. Press N to read it. Okay, uh, Mount Massive Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down in scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Huh. Uh-huh. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Uh-huh. Okay. Did I just see something run by? Someone? Can I... Yeah, I can... Oh, let's see. It's like blurry with this camcorder. I mean, I much prefer looking at the game like this. I mean, do I have to play it with the camcorder on? God, this is 2013. I... I wish I could get inside that. Make this into a little base of operations, like a little tiny home base. Look at that, it's so perfect. But I don't think this game has anything like that. Like, I, you know, I can go in there, find clues, and still run away, come back out over here, either climb on top and get in, or climb through here. It's all metal. They can't, you know, the creature, whatever creatures can't get in. And it'd be safe in there, and I could, you know, look through the, you know, at the monitors, through the surveillance cameras. You'd have to put a couple out here. And I could uh, go through my, uh, you know, the clues that I uh, uncover. The detail and everything is, you know, I look at something like this and I wonder how can games get better than this? You know, games like this and <clears throat> a modded Skyrim, you know, but then of course, and I've seen The Witcher 3, um, what was it called, uh, 
it's it's like a, a Witcher 3 uh, remastered graphics or something like that or up, upgrade or update the one that recently came out like in the past couple of years I think maybe a year and a half year or two uh, and it's clearly you know an updated graphics to the original you know I look at games like that and, and Starfield and Baldur's Gate and those graphics look absolutely incredible but to be quite honest this looks to me just as incredible as those sorry for kind of taking my time here and taking all this in because I'm amazed at that. I mean, look at the, the sky. I know it's eerie, but it is absolutely gorgeous at the same time. I mean, just look at this half of it with the storm. And then over here, with that sunset, which I believe is a sunset, right? So I have a stamina, right? To crouch. Oh, okay. So apparently I can't get through the front door, which is what I thought I, I had to do. But yeah. So it's locked. I don't want to mess with those buttons. This is. This is just amazing, guys. Oh, look, I could jump right. Okay. Okay, hold on. Huh. Shit, I keep... I'm, like, used to things like, like Starfield now, you know, the modern-day uh, first-person games where you do not hold the shift. You just hit it, and you just run. It's, like it's become a toggle, right? instead of a, a hold. Amazing. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with mouse scroll up and oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so I could see the advantages of that. Am I uh, constantly recording? Look at that. There's a battery icon I saw. So, I mean, I can run out of... Uh, batteries with this. Oh, hey. just kind of giving me Tomb Raider vibes right there, right? I'm looking forward to that uh, Tomb Raider trilogy uh, remaster. I know there are people shitting on that one saying, you know, at least I saw one video where the person was shitting on it saying the graphics, you know, took a step backwards and crap like that, but it's not about that and that person missed the point of that game. They want to upgrade the graphics but still keep the nostalgia of the original. That's why it still looks, you know, blocky or polygonal like it did the original but just but a little less so and a lot more cleaner looking and, and smoother you know so I do like it activate the night vision on your camcorder press F okay understood oh hey okay so this is not a toggle so I can't just Crouching is one I wish was a taco. Because it's moments like this where I would like to, uh, you know, crouch. Just 
feel safer. Okay, nothing up there. Okay. You have to close it hard. What the f Not a sight or what? I don't think I could actually raise the volume by a bit more. So, is this haunted? Like a haunted place? With ghosts? Yeah, why would I want to close it if I'm going to just slam it, you know? better control of that when closing the door. So I take it these are places where I could hide, right? This looks like really good. I mean, this is what it would look like if I was to, you know, duck under a, a desk and, and look out like this. I love this. As strange as that sounds, right? Oh, look at this. <clears throat> Batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload by pressing R. But I don't have to reload now. Push that or... Oh, wait. So look at that. I can look through the crack. Here, I love that. The gap in the desk. To close right now. I'm not going to do that. There's a blood trail, look at that. Like I would not mind closing this, but... <laughs> Why did they do it like that? Updated, uh, in your, okay. Oh, I have one here. Oh, this is the... Uh... 
What did I read this one? I did two weeks of software consult at Markov Psychiatric Systems facilities in the Mount Massive. All sorts of. I think. Yeah, I, I just read that when I was outside. Uh, Markov Psychiatric Systems Project Wallrider, Mount Massive Company. Uh huh. Patient initials Billy. Gender male. Observe. Observing physician Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Um, morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage for hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Okay, so like the chest area is fine. Okay. Uh, hematocrit uh, centrifuge again. Uh, centrif centrifuge, what? I, I heard that before, but um, failed to separate erythic uh, erythics, erythocytes, highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and REM cycle, so something to do with the sleep. Laughter in an REM state. Okay, so he's like laughing in his sleep. Interview notes. Uh, Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that they discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Hmm. <clears throat> The only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive company records. Oh, oh, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned, and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Uh huh, okay. Good. So there's, you know, little interaction with uh, the objects around you. So it gives you the option to open doors quickly or open them slowly. But when it comes to closing them, fuck was that? It just slams it. Can I pick up food to heal? I get damaged? Apparently no. No, I think it's pretty obvious that I have to climb up through this. I'm not even going to, uh, you know, try to open that door that just slammed. So loudly, or crawl around, I should say. How do I freaking save this, you know? Save an exit? What if I just want to save the game? Like, what happens when I die? Do I have to start this from the goddamn beginning? I hope not. I hope not. I'm crawling around like an elephant, you know? Oh, saving. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Mm 
Look at this. I I climbed through, you know, up in the grate. Like I'm sure I can even climb back up here, right? But I can't climb through this. Why did the jumps why did that jump scare scare get me here but no reaction really in um, uh, uh, don't scream well in don't scream as I said I really psyched myself up for um, that it it's like a challenge you know it doesn't want you to scream so I was in a different mindset there and two it's as great as it was and with the sounds and stuff like that, um, the, the graphics, of course, were not all that great. So that was like another thing. It was the concept of the game, the graphics, and just the fact that there really isn't a storyline and plot to get absorbed in. And all those immersive qualities about a game are what can, you know, incite such reaction such as this one you know I'm already I'm understanding that I'm here to investigate you know the goings on in here what what um, malicious intent they have here with, with the patients or had <clears throat> the graphics are outstanding the music you hear that score that is another thing so these are the things that um, the core ingredients that can cause you to, uh, you know, react in some way, and thus the jump scare is born. Why the? Oh, this! It really drains the uh, the batteries using the the night vision, right? Amazing. Okay, I gotta get my ass moving. Can't fuck around too long. I'm not expecting zombies in here. They killed us. You got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. What, what did he say? The variants? Lock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh, to reload battery. Fine. What the fuck are you doing? Go ahead and open this. Waste of batteries. Rather, waste of battery. It takes only one. Little fake. <laughs> 
Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Did I say happy Halloween to everyone as well? Not happy Halloween. Oh. Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. Oh, great, great. Um, <clears throat> I love aspects like this in the game, you know, when, when you go into the menu. I'm not just necessarily talking about this, you know, when you go into options and you change. I'm talking about like this, you know, the um, going into your journal and the codexes and, you know, the, the, the whole inventory thing in the game, you know, of your character and uh, looking at your character sheet. I just love all that looking at them and I, I really pay attention to the layout of things and for this kind of a game this is uh, very fitting escape the asylum access security control to unlock the main doors notes and documents mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, I looked through all of that. Very good, very good. So now I must escape the asylum. Doesn't seem like it would be that hard. I should just be able to retrace my steps and get out. I know the game is longer than this. Oh, hey. Uh, Jay, right? Is this? Oh. Why is this one like highlighted like I didn't read this one, but I did. Okay, this is the new one. In a matter of seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Merkov Psychiatric Systems, okay. By Merkov. Headline security. Who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination? Really? Hmm. We are satisfied that, and notice it didn't say by any kind of chemicals or gas or anything. Contaminated with what? Maybe a type of evil? We are satisfied that the affidavit, David's, and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for uh, issuance of this warrant. Ish issuance. I like to issue, right? You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete mm -hmm. authority to its agents uh-huh so all those vehicles out there but it looks like they all got fucked like the guy that was impaled right uh, by acceptance of this document you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Merkov Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of Responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, you sign over all your like rights and legal action against this place. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to really keep an eye out on 
when it saves, right? Because, of course, I'm not gonna play this whole thing in one go and we've reached the 40 minute mark. Uh huh, that's a dead body I can see. I can see the silhouette already. Another corpse. Uh, Alien Isolation is one that I've played too, and that was on my my old channel. Uh, I got somewhat far into it, but never completed it, and it was years ago again. Uh, and I don't have that game installed right now at the moment. I think, um, actually, it was Great Gaming Forever, my good friend Chris, who, you know, kind of suggested that one to me, but I think that one takes up a bit more space which I do not have. I think this one only took like three or four gigabytes, something like that. Whereas isolation took up like fifteen. And even though I know that's not an exceeding amount of uh, space, um, for me it kind of is with my recordings and stuff. Ah, look at that. Look it glows so you almost don't really have to, you know, turn the light on because anything of great import will be glowing in the dark anyways, so. Okay, uh, oh here, yeah, it gives, it puts a, a bullet point to let me know it's uh, a new thing. Okay, the uh, status report for Chris Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, morphogenic uh, engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond the stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scan consists with patients reported dreams. Oh, okay, so now there's something. A walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be the monster that is following me, much like, um, you know, the nemesis, right, in uh, Resident Evil 3? Wasn't he like an experimented uh, uh, creature uh, made from a, a liquor creature or using that same type of, uh, you know, a similar formula? Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their uh, parietal eyes. Uh, he has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan wow, seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by ther therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay, so hopefully we do get to a safe point so what oh going to peek. oh I love that okay uh-huh really cool am I breathing like that something's coming Come 
Calm the fuck down. Why? You're gonna give yourself away breathing like that. Him. I can interact with him in any way. Oh, so mental people. Oh, I, I like that. Okay, so I can start off by peering like that. And then I shift over. I like that. are just incredible I'm, I'm just still blown away the lighting you know it's it's not just the graphics but the lighting oh look at that a security badge flashing letting me know that's something I can get Oh, in my inventory I have the key card for security, which is what I needed, right? To get out of here. Couldn't I just open this window and see how high it is or if there's a ledge? Patients here are gonna go all ape shit on me now, or I'm still cool. They have varying degrees of damage. Look at this guy's skin. And then him, he doesn't look so bad. But Come <laughs> on. 
Fuck. I hope I didn't cause that. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. Note that you can look behind by holding Q or E while running. Really? Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. But it's a little awkward, but it would be better if, you know, there was a toggle or run. <clears throat> Security room, that way. Electricity room. Uh, down, library, recreation hall, cafeteria, and chapel. Well, let's see if we can't go to this again. Well, now things are getting a little, a little tense. Motherfucker running around here. a battery. kind of makes it even the more scarier is because I know that I can't just squeeze through anything to escape in a pinch like a oh hey look at this like see okay I can't like it's not logical that I can't climb up here go on those shelves you know but if it was of course Skyrim or Oblivion I would be able to but but it just adds to the uh, the level of fear that this game can incite. This door and then just squeeze through there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I had that security badge, so that's why it's good. It's good. Oh, shit. I mean, I could slam it, but again, that motherfucker's gonna hear me. button to hide. Oh, to hide inside there. Okay. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, I really need to quit and save. Oh, now it's saving. Wonderful. Right there. Well, this is very much like alien isolation right here. You know? Can I hold my breath or. I don't know if this game is microphone sensitive. Do you have this back then? Fuck out of here.
that note. I think it's a good place to um to quit and say fucking leave. Okay, yeah, I'm going to save it here. Very, very good game. I, I do highly recommend it. It's not so much in the way of um, freedom of, you know, picking up anything you want and, you know, doing anything that you want. It's more of like a first-person movie that you play out at your pace and, um, you know, with you trying to figure out things and, and finding clues and, and objects that you need along the way to progress to the next, you know, area or, you know, progress with the story, uh, which I do enjoy. I've, I guess the other game would be, uh, I was about to say I haven't played a game quite like it, but then again, there was Alien Isolation, which is very much like this, but it's been years since I've played that one. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Halloween and see you.